Hey guys, I'm your host Theodore41, and welcome back to Let's Play Back to the Future Blind. When we last left off, uh, Danny had his little crowning moment of awesome. Irving Kid Tannen. Guess he dropped this on his way out. Really, it was there the whole time. It's empty. Figures. There was something sitting there this whole time. And I never figured it out. I feel like an idiot. Hey, Einie, get your nose over here. All right. I really don't think Tan and the Doc are with Herbert Hoover, Einie. <laughs> okay, sure they are. Check it out. The big red button. All right, Doc. Here I come. Rocket. What are you doing here? Ah, uh, never mind. Come here and help me get rid of this stinking arsenic. Edna. I caught a plant dynamite while he was clearing out the soup kitchen. Guess Sagan was innocent after all. I was researching a story, you ignoramus. Sell it to St. Peter's sister. What's all this? Parker? Tannen, you're under arrest. Get him, Sacramento boy. I can't do that, kid. What? Oh, I get it. Why don't you let go of Miss Strickland and call it a night? Hey, look over there! Watch out! I assume the boss fight coming on. Our second one this episode. So, in case you're wondering what that noise in the background is, I'm eating nerds. I don't think he wants to smoke right now. <laughs> I've noticed during most of my Let's Plays that each video I'm usually, at some point, I'm usually eating or drinking something. I'm eating the leftover Easter candy. Mmm. Okay. How long do I have to wait? He's not about to let me in. 
Nope. That didn't make sense. It'd make more sense if you said, make like a board of Mario Party and die. That would have made way more sense. Make it easy on yourself. Get it? Because there's dice. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Hooch trail. <laughs> A trail of explosive boots leading right into the garage. Can I do something with this? It's empty, so what's the point? Like scrape it across the ground. Oh. The lighter. Come on, she can die too. She can't sing, no one likes her. No one messes. Come on, save yourself already. Okay. If I click on him here. Oh. You shouldn't be. Hey, Edna. Ah. So I can't talk to her. I guess I just gotta keep doing this, maybe? Those of you guys who have played this before. I'm probably just all durr, durr, you're supposed to do that. Hurt, durr, hurt, 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 Make like a tree and die, rat. Again. Makes no sense. Hey. Had a girl. Make it easy on your son. Hey, kid, you can let, phony. Hey, moron, moron, this. So, I guess I just light this now because she's out. Hey, kid. <laughs> that ain't a real gun. Oh, right. I forgot. I better just get rid of it then. <laughs> oh, crap. Burning down the house. Burn, baby, burn. Hunk a hunk of burning love. Yeah, I'm just a hunk a hunk of burning love. I'm just a hunk a hunk of burning love. Yeah, I'm just a hunk a hunk of burning love. Grab the butter and jam. We are gonna like toast. Uh, words to the wise from Dingo Dial. <laughs> Our favorite crocodile dingo hot hybrid. He's my favorite Crash Bandicoot character by far. Cortex is second. Well, Cortex and Ripperoo are tied for second. I also like Uka Uka, Aku Aku, Crash obviously. My younger self has installed the rocket car. What's going on up there? It's not good, Doc. Trixie and Parker did their part, but now Kid's holding you hostage. Right, Scott. No kidding. Try to get Kid in the car. Once he's inside, give me a signal, and I'll do the rest. How am I? You! Emmett! No! You can't! 
killed him! Oh. <laughs> this is the final battle. <laughs> I have a friend named Irving at school. Oh. Oh, that's so epic. Rounding. <laughs> he landed <laughs> the manure truck. Necessary, Miss Strickland. My rocket car may have accidentally saved the day, but only because it's a completely out of control failure. I need a new idea. If you're willing to listen, I might have a few suggestions. But first, I think we should take in a movie. I'm all yours, Mr. Brown. I think you'll like it. It's all about a brilliant scientist with an overabundance of hubris. Whew. Come on, Annie. Let's go find out. Well, wait, wasn't Artie supposed to go with some girl named Sylvia? Thanks for letting me fly the DeLorean, Doc. This thing's a blast. I'm absolutely sure that everything's back to normal. Totally. Kids going to jail, Emmett's going to see Frankenstein, and there's no such thing as a tanning crime family in 1986. And we remembered Einstein this time, too. Hill Valley crime rate at all time low. Hmm. Well, except for Grandpa necking with Trixie. I think we're ready to go back to 1986. Do you feel yourself fading out of existence? No. Then as long as your father's still born in seven years, I say, let your grandfather sow his oats. Sowing oats? Is that what's going on with you and Edna? What are you talking about? Emmett and Edna. They're gonna go see Frankenstein together. That's odd. Oh, let me guess. She changed what movie they were gonna see. So, um, they didn't go see the movie at all. I don't know. So far this game is really good. Of course I haven't even recorded any of episode 3, so... That doc, first citizen Brown. Uh oh, that's not good. To be continued, guys. <laughs> what? No Back to the Future theme? Oh well, it's. back in time so we're gonna stop it here so I'm your host the edge of 41 signing out see you next time bye <laughs>